clearly cannot see. This is too much of a disadvantage. You would stop it? I would stop the fight. Get this water. Nothing to be ashamed of. You can't see, you can't fight. And not only can you not see, it's visible to your opponent. When you fought Alex Stewart and both of your eyes swelled, were you still able to see out of I was them? able to see. It's and one thing sure to be able Kevin to see. Him. He said he could not see. Yep. Well, in that last round, Kelly's punch out quick dropped to 25. So he's badly hampered by the inability to see out of the right eye, and it's hurting him in a lot of different ways, both defending himself and mounting offense. But now here he comes again as he's able to pin Gaynor against the ropes. And this is when he does his best work. Well, that Gaynor's sharp as a cat. He knows exactly what he's doing. Cross there by Derek Gaynor. Misses short with that one. Lunges but doesn't get hurt because Kevin Kelly isn't able to follow up. Kelly concentrating on the body when he goes to the ropes. That could help him. Gives him a chance to come back and go upstairs. Gaynor's hand still fast. One thing about when your eyes are closed, you have this itchy feeling all over your body and you just want to touch and protect yourself a lot more than you want to fight. Kelly stunned, stunned now as Gaynor pounds him against the ropes. He got hit twice on the blind eye. Now, Gaynor has been the aggressor. About as aggressive as we've ever seen Derek Gaynor be in the ring. Solid left-hand lead. fault Kelly's guts. He's trying everything he's got. You wonder why Gaynor would even fight this kind of fight when he can really clearly stay on the outside and win. Blood trickling from Kevin Kelly's nostrils now. Both sides bleeding. Down goes Gaynor. A left hand. A big, big left hand. And Gaynor may not get up. He will not get up. Six. Why seven, would he fight a fight like that? Arturo got Kevin it. Kelly visited. has done it. Arturo His confidence soaring, got aggressive in that round, it's and the, gave Kelly an opportunity, George. It's the old Billy Conn, Joe Lewis story. You win in a fight, now I'm going for a knockout also, and it happens to him. Billy Conn. And shades of Arturo Gotti in the garden a couple months ago as Kevin Kelly, blind in the right eye, scores a dramatic bailout knockout of Derek Gaynor. Gaynor is still flat on his back. Kevin Kelly is a quality athlete. He's a real prize fighter. This is what real prize fighters do. They never give up. They keep coming at you. And we saw last weekend that one fighter with a bad eye didn't keep coming at you. You saw Kevin Kelly there trying to lift Gaynor up. He wanted to pay his respect to Derek Gaynor because I think Gaynor gave him a much better battle than Kevin ever expected from the young man. But at the end of the day, the old pro fighting in his 47th fight had the answer. Gaynor feeling strong, looking at an opponent that he felt he had on the, on the ropes and walks right into a big, wild left hand. Dropped his right hand at the same moment that he threw the left. That was the difference. Watch the right hand drop when Gaynor commits to this left hand. Boom. All night, he's been landing that shot. Those have been the same shot that's knocked him down one after the other. Each knockdown, same punch. Why would Gaynor risk such an uh, to go mix it up with a, a, a club fighter like that? Home crowd was chanting. George, home crowd was chanting. Home crowd wanted to give him a, a big ovation for the knockout. He wanted to reward him, so he went after it, and he got caught. Stay out of your hometown. <laughs> Wasn't the crowd chanting for Khan against Joe Lewis? That's right. <laughs> Let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars of this dramatic comeback KO. 
time. How about a round of applause for two featherweights in this ring who for seven and one half rounds gave us one hell of a war. The end comes at two minutes and 16 seconds of round number eight. The winner by knockout victory and still WBU featherweight champion of the world, the flushing flesh, Kevin Hill.